courtesy of the new statesman is techno about to die obviously not based on the title but this is obviously made and written to generate clicks and to engage someone like myself who doesn't read stuff um you know doesn't read articles and just goes by the headline but let's see what this person has to say this is courtesy of a writer called octavia sheepshanks which sounds like a troll right it, or it, it also sounds like she could be the daughter of some mp or something so i don't really know but let's see what octavia sheepshanks had to say about techno dying which is absolutely hilarious and obviously wrong um when you consider just how young the scene is now and just the amount of young people out and about nowadays the prevalence and popularity of it and tiktok and shit it's just no it's you know it's not gonna die anyway we'll, let's just see what it's to say so this article says as follows until recently to find music as sped up as 100 per beats per minute it, you'd have to don a black t-shirt and a serious expression and hit a techno club now you just need to turn on the radio calvin harris and ellie golden new single miracle is vying for uk number one in the charts and it is 143 bpm um transporting us back to the 1990s um it is also a trance anthem trance is techno's cheerful sister quantively similar but quantively worlds apart both are electronic with four beats to a bar with all the beats think um boom 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 so fast it's no time to think both feature breakdowns build up building anticipations and then drops and return to the beat but while the techno is a lyricless and dark with a heavy use of drum machines and trance songs are uh, melodic and often feature positive emotional lyrics trance music is catchy accessible and fun and makes me want to jump around in my bedroom of course something like an octavia sheepshanks would like trance and it makes complete sense trance is awful trance is like roller skates like it's just one of those things it's just never gonna get rid of that you know of that flipping of that stink like people can roller skate now roller blade try and make you look cool but there's nothing cool about roller skating in my opinion techno makes me want to hide under a bed techno has an omnipresent um in the world of electronic dance music for at least a decade since trance popularity waned in the mid 2000s both trance and euro dance have traditionally been considered um eminently uncool but gen z and young millennials um who were toddlers during the trance's original launch into orbit don't care and so change is afoot for example, the Canadian producer, DJ, um, musician, TDJ, is going all in, releasing original mixes <coughs> sorry, of pure trance and euro dance, uh, accompanied by extended music videos that were a terrifying social commentary on her generation. It continues, pass through this, oh look at Boris the ugly cunt. Um, Meanwhile, Fred again, the producer, DJ, uh, musician who is rapidly risen in global fame, has released a trance hit with um, Romy Madley Croft of the XX. Um, Fred against technique of building songs around the overhead comments. Look, this this girl that's commentating on is techno dead is fans of trance and Fred again. This says everything about her taste level, to be fair. But what if trance is responsible? Several Fred again songs contain trademark elements of trance, such as extended breakdown amid song, where the bass melts away in floaty emotional vocals and lead away to the minutes of time before an epic drop that leaves the crowd bouncing and beaming this paired with simple lyrics from real people if you don't know don't worry creates a feeling of hopeful nostalgia in a similar vein there is a young marco's trance out edit of imogen heaps hide and seek which last year left boiler room dancers confused then ecstatic and has now been released via ministry of sound calvin harris fred again tdj and others are just introducing people to young dance music where where alienated by techno's darkness they're appealing to current techno fans who find themselves thinking that actually um something um they can sing along to might be quite nice after all goodbye berlin the hell of eurovision techno's reign is over not a moment too soon shut up octavia sheep sang talking absolute shit to be fair if anything the kids nowadays are probably a lot more open to listening to everything at the same time whereas my generation i felt like we're a little bit more one-track minded if you liked garage at the time you liked only that if you liked bass music or you like jungle like you, or you like drum and bass you like that that there wasn't really much crossover but now a lot of the people a lot of the kids i see going out are going to disco nights they're going to trance nights they're going to techno nights they're going to house nights like they're doing everything um queer nights all that stuff like it's not so it's not just like a specific place they're going to it's all kind of you know rising up together and you just got to look at places like boiler room anyway um recent sort of like you know gigs that they're having there from the likes of gutterings and whatnot and a few other people <clears throat> out there who are playing that type of music 
look at what the DJs are playing, it's a mix of everything. So to say one thing is dying, the other thing is rising up is dumb because I think in a, in the space of electronic music and dance music, I think when one ship rises, the attention just rises on the other thing because people always want to be attached to the hot new thing. So techno, I don't think can die. Um, techno obviously could die if it, but I don't think intrinsically it can because at its core, it's still kind of youthful, anti-establishment sort of expression. And as long as there's kids, as long as there's youth, um, there's always going to be a techno. It's like any other bit of dance music, any other bit of music in any way or form. So the idea that it's going to die is, to me, absolutely crazy. Personally for me, absolutely crazy. But yeah, big up um, Octavia Sheepshanks for attempting to bury um, flipping techno. It's not going to work. It's not going to work, my dear. You can't stop it. You can't.